because we have more fans. Well, that's good. It's true. That's good. People are always like, where are you ready to go? I'm glad people are starting to care. They care! <laughs> They've always cared. <laughs> if you care about when Ethan leaves, let us know in the comment section down below. Don't really do that. Don't. No. No. Because we don't want to find out that no one cares. Because in the crossover classics, it was like, let's see the, our flagship characters, like Superman versus Spider-Man. And you're like, that's not going to work. No. Because Superman like, will kill him. <laughs> in a second. <laughs> but they, they do, they, uh, they, it's fun because like Dr. Octopus and Lex Luthor are in the same jail cell. And Doc Ock like summons his arms and then like is this hilarious image of Lex Luthor riding Dr. Octopus as they're escaping from prison. What? <laughs> and they use like awesome. counterpart versions of Spider-Man and Superman to kidnap their like civilian counterparts girlfriends so like Lois and Mary Jane get kidnapped by the other oh. so Spider-Man and Superman like are going after each other in real life because they're like you kidnapped Mary Jane and whatnot. Oh. why because why? because they've never done it like they've never done this kind of crossover before like, so you yeah, have to like they think oh I don't know why so I don't recall but that's why because I'm I really Superman kidnapped Mary Jane yes well I mean if you don't know who Superman He's is such a douche but you know what's funny with no with, yeah he has actually Spider-Man's heard of Superman in that universe I think I think the idea over here was like, who hasn't heard of Superman? Um, but no one else has heard of Spider-Man. No. Yeah. Uh, I think like Superman said something like, because back then Spider-Man was like an outlaw and a vigilante, and like the press really like fucking him up, and like oh, the, the cops are still after him. So he's like, I've heard a lot of mixed things about you, Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So I I could believe you might kidnap Lois Lane. Right. Um, and and I love it because of its simplicity. It's just a fun little story. No bullshit. No fucking universes. No like right. you know. Fucking, like, Superman used his heat vision too hard and he blew a hole in the space-time continuum. <laughs> the funny thing is that DC was almost purchased by Marvel in, like, the 70s. Really? Or the 80s. The 80s. Um, yeah, Warner Brothers saw it as a depreciating asset. And they <laughs> offered it. Like, they called Marvel and they're like, Would you like this? Would you like this fucking thing? This this toxic thing I don't know what to do with. <laughs> and the fucking Marvel editor G said no. I won't I don't want your sinking ship. He assumed that if Warner Bros. was offering them, they weren't a viable asset. Right. So he didn't buy them. Are you fucking kidding me? Well like how? So both Oops. of them were idiots. Yeah, like And then you... Marvel went bankrupt. And then the Marvel went bankrupt and DC has the most recognizable characters of all time. Yeah. Like yeah. How crazy is that? And they did... By the way, Marvel does... Not unlike Batman, Marvel has a contingency for what would happen if they were to take on DC. Oh, really? And we've actually <laughs> seen it uh, because they had... Like, Marvel had meetings about, like, okay, so if we want DC, what would we do? They would not merge the universes. The idea would be they would cancel all the DC books. They would reevaluate re the creators who were working on them. And say, like, are any of them in-house? Are any of them working for us? Are any of them, like, good? Do, any, do we want to keep any of them? Hire their own people, their, their internal Marvel people. Mm -hmm. And then put out Batman, Superman, Justice League, and maybe Wonder Woman. And then, see how they did. And then, if they sold better, or if they sold well, a year later, roll out, like, Flash, Green Lantern, and other characters. Mm -hmm. And... Either and, do it until it's stuck. Yeah. See how well they sell, and then if they didn't sell very well, just pull back to the original plan of like those those the, the Trinity or quadruple of, right. of books, and and then maybe later, like a few like five years, like see how their crossovers would work out. I'm like, that's a brilliant plan. That's a brilliant plan. The DC should have done. <laughs> like when they were like, shit, yeah. everything's fucked up. Yeah. Like. No, don't put out 52 fucking new books. Yeah, just books. go back to basics. Yeah, put out five titles. And then the rest of them make them either minis or seasonals. Like, Flash comes out from, like, summer to, you know, winter. Yeah, something. but then they couldn't make any money from Flash books during that time when they're not making Flash Right, books. but Flash will be in Justice League, so they'll buy the Justice League book. Maybe. Maybe, or maybe they'll stop buying me and be like, no, fuck DC. No way yeah. the Flash book, I won't buy any of them. I was like, well, well, I don't want goddamn Cyborg, I just want the Flash. Yeah, I don't either. Well, nobody <laughs> wants Cyborg. <laughs> nobody likes Cyborg. 